today's video I'm going to show you how to solve the problem of external disturbances while recording say I want to record a music or a video from my Mac and I don't want any external sounds to come from my mic in this case we need to install a program that is called Soundflower this program will transfer the recorded sound on your Mac to the QuickTime player ignoring any external sounds coming from your mic I will leave a link in the description below so you can download this program as you see in here this is a download link and it is pretty straightforward when you download the program follow the steps and it's like in minutes it is already downloaded then what you have to do is to go to system preferences and go to sounds and check that soundflower is already installed so you have Soundflower 2 channels and 64 channels. Then what you have to do is to press the command space and look for MIDI. So we open the audio MIDI setup. And here you have to do two things. First step is to go to the plus sign and create an aggregate device. This device will be named QuickTime player input. So I will just name it Quick Time Player Input. It is an easy name to understand when you already choose your devices. So you, you know what you're doing. So in here you have to check two things. First is the built in microphone and the Soundflower 2 channels. Right? So make sure these are already checked and the built-in microphone is the clock source then you go second step is to press on the plus sign and create a multi-device output multi-device output i will rename it as screen record with audio screen record with audio here I will check two options the first is the built-in output the second is Soundflower two channels so make sure that these two options are already chosen and the master device is built-in output once you once you're done this step is already okay we will close the audio devices and we will go to our system preferences sound and before you record with quicktime you have to choose the output device which is in this case will be the screen record with audio all right then we will open the quicktime and we will choose file new screen recording then you will find that uh, it gives you the ability to record but there are some options so we have to validate the input for the quick time in this case I will press this arrow and I will choose the input so quick time player input so the input for the quick time is the device the input device we created and the output would be found in here in sounds output and you choose screen record with audio once you're done you choose to close this you start recording I advise that you start recording your screen with uh, a YouTube music something like this and start to speak in the mic and check if your sound is already into your recording or not disturbing your recording if it's not then it's working fine after you already finished you should go to sound preferences go to sounds and then you choose your output by default it depends sometimes it can be the internal speakers external speakers or any um, headphones right so uh, this is it I hope uh, this would be working with you uh, thank you for watching the video I will be counting on you for supporting the channel by subscribing you will get any future content 
if you validate the bell and see you in the next video.